Hey everyone, this is Wobbly Wallaby. Alberta just got released on the China beta test server, and here's a sneak peek. As I look at this beautiful city, I have one thing on my mind. What's the farming situation going to be like? If you've been following my channel for a while, I really enjoy finding efficient ways to farm for Zenny. So, what are the new farming maps going to be like? Stay tuned to find out. Once you're in Alberta, you can see two maps with the new monsters in them. Also, there's lots of MVPs in the new maps, which is going to be interesting. The monster types are all over the place, so it's not going to be as easy as some Komodo maps, which has a majority of monsters as water types. I'll do a quick tour of the map. The density is quite decent. There are a bunch of different turtles, which seems to be the theme. The map looks absolutely gorgeous, and I like the details that they have everywhere. I'll start by hitting some monsters so you can see the spawn rate. Unfortunately, it's not insta-spawn like Last Helm. It's closer to hunting grounds where they spawn a bit randomly. Pardon the double hits here, the server lag here is terrible. The Zenny per kill is a bit low, and there's a reason for that. It is due to the monster levels, which was a bit surprising. When I checked my adventure handbook, they are all around level 120. So you're going to be hitting some really bad level penalties if you're level 170 farming here. I think this is only good if you're farming for the new materials. The same goes for the second map. Although it seems darker and the environment's different, the monster levels are the same. I was really hoping for a harder map with level 170 monsters, but no such luck. If I go to the Soul Hunting Ground maps as a comparison, the Zenny earned per hit is much higher here, plus you do get the map's buffs. So for the new maps, I see this as a temporary spot when Alberta gets released to get the materials and then dump them on the exchange. You may also want to prepare a lower level alt so you can farm this once it gets released. For example, I might delete one of my alts and create it again as a Stella Hunter or Gunslinger so the level penalty will not be as bad. Well, that's all. I hope you enjoyed this sneak peek. Make sure to subscribe so you can stay tuned for even more Alberta content as it comes out. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Here's a video that I would recommend, and here's a playlist for some sneak peeks if you want to see more.